Did you know that Friedrich Meiser discovered DNA in 1869? However, scientists did not understand that DNA was the genetic material in cells until 1943. Prior to that, it was widely believed that proteins stored genetic information. But have you ever wondered how DNA helps synthesize proteins? Transcription refers to the process of the synthesis of RNA from DNA. This is the first step in the process of creating proteins from DNA. It occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotes and in the cytoplasm of prokaryotes. Let's learn more about it. In this video, we will study the process of transcription and look at the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. We will also understand the difference between replication and transcription. Let us now zoom into a prokaryotic cell and learn how transcription is different from replication. Both replication and transcription join together nitrogenous bases in a strand complementary to the parental DNA strand. During replication, both the DNA strands act as template strands. During transcription, only one of the DNA strands acts as the template strand. Replication is the process of copying genetic information from DNA to DNA, where adenine binds with thymine. On the other hand, transcription copies the information from DNA to RNA, where adenine binds with uracil. Replication occurs in the entire genome, but transcription does not occur in one go. Particular segments of DNA called transcription units take part in transcription. As a result, nascent RNA has only one strand, which then defines the sequence for protein synthesis or translation. Let us study the process of transcription in detail. Transcription in prokaryotes occurs in the cytoplasm. The first stage of transcription is the initiation stage. Here, the initiation factor, sigma, associates with RNA polymerase enzyme. It now recognizes a conserved sequence called the Pribnow box. This complex now travels down 10 base pairs to reach the initiation site. Therefore, the Pribnow box consisting of TA, TAAT is always present 10 BP upstream of the initiation site. These events begin the process of transcription. The second stage of transcription is the elongation stage. Here a single type of RNA polymerase synthesizes the nascent RNA by polymerizing nucleoside triphosphates in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The chain continues to elongate until it encounters the terminator sequence. The third stage of transcription is the termination stage. The RNA polymerase encounters the terminator sequence and a termination factor, RHO, proceeds, catches up and associates with this complex and halts the transcription process. Both the RNA polymerase and the nascent RNA then detach from the transcription unit and the nascent RNA can directly take part in translation or the protein synthesis process. Let us now move to a eukaryotic cell to observe transcription in eukaryotes. Transcription in eukaryotes occurs inside the nucleus. Unlike prokaryotes, eukaryotes have three different types of RNA polymerases for synthesizing different types of RNA. RNA polymerase 1 synthesizes rRNA like 5.8S, 18S and 28S rRNA. RNA polymerase 2 
synthesizes hnRNA, which is a precursor of mRNA. RNA polymerase 3 synthesizes 5-SRRNA, tRNA and small nuclear RNAs. Let us proceed with RNA polymerase 2. Like prokaryotes, in the initiation stage, the RNA polymerase 2 recognizes the promoter sequence in the transcription unit in the initiation stage. However, here it specifically recognizes a conserved sequence of TA, 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 T called the TA, TA box that is located 25 bases upstream of the transcription initiation site. This complex now travels down 25 base pairs to reach the initiation stage. The next stage is elongation, where the RNA polymerase enzyme synthesizes the new RNA strand in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Finally, the RNA polymerase encounters the terminator sequence Transcription stops and both the RNA polymerase and the nascent RNA fall off from the transcription unit. However, in eukaryotes, nascent RNA is further processed before it exits the nucleus. To summarize, transcription is the process of copying genetic information from DNA to RNA. The portion of DNA engaged in transcription is called the transcription unit and only its template strand takes part in transcription. Transcription follows the principle of complementarity but adenine pairs with uracil instead of thymine. RNA transcription occurs in three stages, initiation, elongation and termination. The Pribnow box is a part of promoter sequence in prokaryotes. Transcription occurs in the cytoplasm and only one type of RNA polymerase is present. The Tata box is a part of promoter sequence in eukaryotes. Transcription occurs in the nucleus and RNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3 take part in the process. Before we say our goodbyes, there was something interesting I wanted to run past you. Do you want to know what it is? Aha! So the closest invertebrate genetic relative of humans is a small creature known as the star ascidian or golden star tunicate. In other words, you have more in common genetically speaking with this tiny chordate than you do with a spider or octopus or cockroach. Crazy, right? You must join me next time too, so I could tell you more such fun facts. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.